MRO procurement in itself is a very complex topic. Often companies deal with multiple sites, with hundreds or thousands of users, and then also with thousands of suppliers. Therefore, the whole topic in itself lends itself to inefficiencies. In the last few years, procurement directors have tried to solve predominantly direct procurement. Now their attention focuses into indirect procurement. That's where they need a strategy and it all starts with really understanding the data to get hold of that strategy. Data analytics can really help you to drive cost savings in your business, in particular around MRO procurement, whether that's for articles that go into production or that help you with better inventory management and a reduction in stock. But often also the indirect procurement area is responsible for keep the production line up and running and if you can minimize any disruption here that will save you a lot of money. I think the first thing in tackling MRO strategies and improving your approach is to really capture data, be very clear how you do that, yeah, what your end-to-end -end processes are, and then really find suppliers that can help you, because most suppliers actually hold the data. There's actually a fascinating study from the Economist Intelligence Unit, 2012, and they said companies who work with Insight improved their performance by about 26%. They now believe that going forwards in the next three years, that performance improvement can go all the way up to 41%. There's a lot that suppliers can actually do to work with procurement professionals in the MRO space around data and data insight because the suppliers capture those data. Yeah? So it's, it's very important that they sit down with the procurement professionals and they share the data, they decide which data to focus on and then together they can really help A, transfer the knowledge to the procurement professionals, but also help them then to understand how can they develop strategies from these data points going forward. Often it's also important not just to look at the cost price of the products, but also the whole end-to-end -end procurement process, the way leakage can happen, and other things like service level to get a holistic picture and to get to the total cost in, of procurement at the end of the day. The world of MRO procurement has become really more complicated in the last years. Uh, there's a number of dimensions that play in the one, the number of suppliers in there, but also within an organization, uh, there are more and more people getting involved in the decision making. That's down to the environment is becoming more risky and a lot of companies have to have risk management. And therefore, the procurement profession alone is normally no longer taking actually the decision when it comes to a procurement contract. So one of the challenges but also opportunities for suppliers and distributors is to help the procurement profession to really manage those dynamics within their own business to create a valuable consensus.